Now I'm looking at my results. You'll notice up here at the top how many results I got with my search. Over 1 million results. If you happen to have seen my EBSCO video, you'll notice that with EBSCO, I only received about 16,000 results. And with ProQuest, way more. And the reason is because ProQuest is, as I mentioned, a social science focused database. A border wall is a social issue. So it makes sense that I get way more results here. So I'm gonna scroll down and look at my results. And typically what you'll get is highlighted words in yellow for your search terms. So here you'll see I have borders highlighted and walls as well. Again, borders and walls. Although they are separate from each other, they are not together combined as a phrase. With some of these others, I might not see the yellow highlights in my results right here, but if I were to open up to art the article somewhere in the text, those words would be highlighted. Here again, you'll see wall is in yellow. And again, wall here and here's border. So what I'm noticing is that the database is searching for border by itself and it's searching for wall by itself. It's not necessarily searching for it as a phrase. So in order to search for it as a phrase, to restrict the phrase, I want to add quotation marks. So I'm going to add quotation marks at the beginning and at the end of my phrase. What this does hopefully is to restrict the phrase to border wall together instead of border by itself and wall by itself. The quotation marks tell the database to do this. So I'm gonna click on the magnifying glass to revise my search. You can also hit enter. And you'll see that my results are much better. 100,000 results instead of over a million. Much more manageable. And when I scroll down, you'll notice that border and wall are together. They're highlighted in yellow. And this has definitely increased my search results by giving me the phrase rather than the words individually. 100,000 is still a lot of results. So I'm going to try to reduce my results by using the filters on the left hand side. So the first thing I want you to notice is the source type. There are a few listed here, but if you click on more, you'll get the full list of sources that are being given to you in these results. You have newspaper articles, wire feeds, blogs, podcasts and websites, other sources, reports, trade journals, magazines, scholarly journals, dissertations and theses, audio and video works, government publications, conference papers, books, and working papers. Something that is not listed here, but could potentially pop up in your search results are reviews. So a couple of things that you don't want to use from search results are reviews. Also, depending on your topic and your professor's uh, source type requirements, you might not want to use conference papers or dissertations or working papers. And you probably want to stay away from blogs, podcasts, and also wire feeds. So always double check with your professor what types of sources are okay for your research. Most professors here at Rio Hondo accept newspaper articles and magazine articles, as well as trade journals. And some professors only require scholarly journal articles. So they might tell you this is the only type of source that they want you to use. It really just depends on your instructor and the assignment requirements. So always check first. I'm going to go ahead and select scholarly journals. 
And I'm also going to select magazines, trade journals, newspaper articles, and I think that's it. I'm going to keep it to those four. Those are the most common sources that most professors are okay with. And I'm going to click apply. And what I'll, what that'll do is eliminate everything else. So I went from 100,000 results to 57,000. It's about half. And then you'll also notice here, these are the sources that I've selected and they are highlighted in blue. There's also, they are also listed up here where it says applied filters. These are the filters that I've selected. If at any point I want to remove one of these filters, let's say I don't want newspapers anymore, or I don't want magazines anymore, I can always just click this X and it will get rid of the magazines. I also want you to notice over here, these icons. These icons point out to you what type of source you're looking at. When you hover over it, it will tell you this one, for example, is a magazine. This one right below is a scholarly journal. And scrolling down further, this one here is a newspaper. So that's a nice, helpful way to know what type of source you're looking at in your results. Now, continuing with my filters on the left hand side, the next filter you'll see is publication date. ProQuest offers these really nice presets where you can just click on them and the publication date filter will apply. There is the last 12 months, the last five years, the last 10 years, and there's also a custom date range. So if these three presets don't work for me, I can always click on this and type in my designated dates. I can also just select based on the calendar that they provide. Because border wall has been a hot topic recently, I might want to update this publication date. Although the topic of a border wall has a long history and applies to other parts of the world other than the United States and Mexico, I might be more interested in what's happening here in the United States and also maybe something uh, that's been going on since Trump came into office. So I'm going to select the last five years as my filter. You'll see that the calendar automatically populates and it will reduce my results by a couple thousand. Another filter you'll notice on the left hand side is the subject filter. When you click on this drop down, you'll see a few subjects that will help you narrow down or refine your search. If you click on more, you'll see the complete list of subjects that you can choose from to help narrow down your results. The first one, for example, is presidents and it has 15,000 or so articles that have the subject of presidents within it. You really want to take your time looking through these subjects to see which subjects apply to your research topic and what you're trying to discuss or prove in your research assignment. I'm just going to select a few here under include as an example, and I'm going to click apply. That will then update my results by removing all of the subject terms that I did not select and giving me only the articles with the subject terms that I did select. So I went from 50,000 or so articles to almost 15,000. I'm going to continue with my filters and I'm going to look at language. I'm going to click on that drop down. So you'll notice here, especially if I click on more, the complete list of languages that are included in the search results. So this shows me that there are 85 articles included in my results that are in Spanish, four in Russian, one in Hindi, and one in Urdu. That's not unusual for this type of database. It is an internationally public published database. So I wanna make sure that these are articles that I can read, and so I want to click on English 
included in my results and hit apply to remove all articles that are not in English. I'm going to continue with my filters by clicking here where it says more filters. And location is another great filter that I like to use, especially with this topic. Because my topic is border wall, border walls can exist anywhere in the world. And my emphasis is going to be on the United States and Mexico. And so I want to make sure that that reflects in my results. When I click on more for location, it will give me the full list of locations that are discussed or covered in these results listed for me. So I'm going to go through and select the areas of the world that I'm interested in. And I think I'll leave it there. There are several more states that I haven't included, but it's a long list. So just so you get an idea here. And I'm going to click Apply. And again, my results will be updated. So I'm down to 13,000 results. And I think that's it for the filters. Um, the other filters, the only other filter that I might mention is person. With this filter, you can select a focus on a certain person. So if I click on more, you will see a list of individuals that these articles connect to. And if there's a particular person that I want to focus on, such as President Trump, I can include that in my search and remove everybody else. I'm going to leave it alone and stick with the 15 or 13,000 or so articles that I currently have. Uh, I'm also going to modify my results here. I'm going to focus in just on scholarly journal articles. So I'm going to remove newspapers and I'm going to remove trade journals. and magazines. And you'll see that my results changed every time I removed a source type and I'm now down to 71 results. That includes all of the other filters that I already had in place, such as location, date, and subject terms. So 71 articles is very manageable. And I removed the other types of source types. I'm focusing just on scholarly journals because most of your professors will want you to focus on scholarly journals or become acquainted with them because they are a requirement when you move on to a four-year university. So now we're going to look into our result list with a little more detail.